On this episode of TFL Truck, we're trying to answer a very simple question. What's better off-road? Is it a full-size SUV or is it a pickup truck? Now we have the brand new 2021 GMC Yukon AT4. But what we wanted to do is find a benchmark to put it up against. And so our long-term Chevy Silverado Trail Boss will serve as that benchmark. And we're gonna take both of them up Tombstone Hill, which is just behind us, to find out exactly what's what. These two are very different. The Silverado truck has a trucky solid rear axle and a mechanical locker in the rear. The Yukon SUV has independent rear suspension for more comfort and a fancy electronic limited slip differential. So we're going to test them in this way. We're going to run them up the mountain in two wheel drive so we see exactly how the rear differentials work. And then we're going to put them in four low and tackle the mountain again. All right, so let me get this straight. The first run is going to be in two wheel drive, no traction control. Yeah, so that sounds good. Two wheel drive, traction control disabled. Let's do it. He <sighs> doesn't like it. He doesn't like it one bit. Sorry, truck. You know, I, I'm thinking I might be losing some traction. That already was pretty impressive that you got this far in two-wheel drive. Let's see if you can make it up this most difficult part of there. Dude, that was a great demonstration. You lost traction on one side, and within actually about a second the power was transferred mechanically to the other side yeah but there is way too much spinning involved this is why we've had an issue with the g80 in the past um uh, by the way i m the rear swung quite a bit so i don't think i should go any further all right let's talk about something that's important to a lot of off-roaders and that's proper weight distribution this vehicle is a lot lighter in the tail than the GMC, so they will perform a little bit differently that way. Now we do have uh, about 100 pounds or so of extra weight back here, but it's nothing compared to the amount of weight that's in the GMC. There's a back seat, two back seats. It's just a heavier vehicle altogether. These two have nearly identical powertrains. These are both 5.3 liter brand new V8s. Same power rating, 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. Both of these engines are mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Both of these engines have the same DFM, dynamic fuel management system, for the best type of fuel efficiency. But today it's not about that. Today is about how these engines uh, actually transfer power through the four-wheel drive system and put it down to the ground. Obviously the Silverado Trail Boss here and the Yukon 84 fully loaded, they have very different price tags. Brand new, about 55 grand for the Trail Boss and about 77 grand for the fully loaded 84 Yukon. But you also get a lot of luxury features and tech features that I'll show you in a second. Uh, I think Nathan is almost ready to go. Already a world of difference. Okay, this is where we lost it last time. I gotta say this right now because I know we bash that G80 a lot. That rear end, which is mechanical, does take a lot to kick in before it locks up. And that is really what our biggest issue is. And it can be a detriment when you're doing hard off-roading. However, I've also used it in snow. I've used it on loose terrain and it works really, really well. All things being equal, these tires would be the same, which would really give us the most accurate test, but unfortunately things are not equal. However, they are both Goodyear tires. Now on the GMC, you have a 20 inch wheel and tire, and these are Trail Runner ATs. You can see that the 
tread is actually fairly aggressive, but it ain't like these. These are the Duratrax. These are on 18 inch wheels. And yeah, much more aggressive looking. And these have been used quite a bit. The point is, is that the traction is going to be a little bit different. Now, bear in mind, you can get a Trail Boss with 20 inch wheels, but I do recommend if you're going to get this, get this set up because you have a lot more rubber to work with if you want to air down. To start, I am going to be in two wheel drive mode, not automated four wheel drive, not four high, but actually two wheel drive high, just like Nathan. And I'm going to try to lift the Yukon all the way up. It cannot go to the highest setting because that's only available in four low, but it can go one inch higher than normal. This brand new 2021 Yukon 84 is an all new vehicle. It's based on the same T1 truck platform as the new Trail Boss Silverado. So the most of the frame is the same. Of course, in the back, it's quite different because of different suspension systems. Um, but uh, the rear differential is also very, very different. This is what they call active four wheel drive with electronically controlled limited slip differential or ELSD. And I've got traction control disabled, two wheel drive, highest setting available all right dude i'm all set i'm in two-wheel drive traction control disabled and i'm in the highest height available for now okay Andrew, you can do it okay all right uh i can feel it uh losing traction but it feels a lot better than the trail boss dude it feels a lot better than the trail boss because you were revving high and stuff was flying don't worry, you're going to lose traction real soon. <laughs> Whoa, I cannot believe this. This is what the LSD is doing. It's actually constantly working using clutches. Did you just make it up that freaking hill in two-wheel drive with no traction control? Yeah, dude. Uh, this is the beauty of computers, clutches, electronic LSDs. Okay, so the electronic LSD obviously... Works better than the G80. Big surprise. Dude, I cannot believe this. This is really a remark. I did not expect this. So Nathan, it looks like this e electronic LSD in the rear of the Yukon works almost pretty much like a selectable locker. Yeah, I mean, I, from my vantage point, I was able to watch you. You lost very little traction. You spun a little tiny bit, nowhere near as much as I spun. And a majority of that can be attributed to that rear end, not just your extra weight. Stop talking about my weight. All right, right here on the trail bus, the curb weight is listed at 5,315 pounds. Plus, as Nathan mentioned, about 100 pounds for the tent and the rack. Okay, let's check out the Yukon. This 84 Yukon is listed at 6,021 pounds of curb weight. So yes, you're getting a lot of luxury features, panoramic sunroofs, but you also weigh a lot. And of course, between us showing you the two-wheel drive Tombstone Hill climb, and the four wheel drive tombstone hill climb we're gonna do this the berm and this is basically a test of articulation and we're gonna approach it kind of in the same way and see what kind of articulation or if we have any trouble no slippage here amazing i did lift my front tire way high in the air though up we go <laughs> no problem. All right, Andre does have a lot of really cool tech toys on his truck. But let me ask you a question. If you're going to spend damn close to $80,000 on a rig, wouldn't you rather get the bigger engine, the 6.2 liter V8, which is much more powerful and has a lot more torque? I would. Here's the thing. You can't with the AT4. It's not available. Neither is a diesel for that matter. However, with this truck, the Trail Boss, you can get the 6.2 liter V8. I'm just saying. All 
Oh yeah. This is where this new Yukon actually shines. Oh yeah, nice and smooth, nice and smooth. Yeah, plenty of leg space in the second row. Really good third row space, and I've got an infotainment system to boot, including a giant panoramic sunroof so I can see the wilderness. Oh boy, it just got tippy, dude, got tippy. Well, what I'm seeing here is that you're losing a little bit of traction and the uh, hill descent control is actually kind of saving your butt. Yeah, it's set to one mile an hour and it's actually very, very slow. And ABS, I can hear it. Guys, check out another thing. I have so much technology. This Yukon is packed with the latest 360 degree cameras and it works both off-road, like you can see now dynamic lines. I can select different angles. I can see my tires. I can place my tire specifically where I want it. Um, and this is also available in the Sierra 84. And I'm really glad that GMC actually brought it here as well. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch to four low. Okay, now it's engaged. And then finally, I can select my right height, if you can see here. So approximately the same uh, ground clearance as the Trail Boss, which is at about 10.8, 10.9 inches, which is really good actually for a big truck. All right, Nathan, I'm going up in the highest suspension setting with four low, um, traction control is still disabled, and I'm just crawling happily. You know what else is noticeable? It's suspension is a little bit stiffer now. Off-road ability is about some basics, right? Ground clearance, tires, four-wheel drive system. And on all those counts, the Yukon 84 just surprised me. It surprised me too, and on top of that, it kicked its cousin or brother's but that Tahoe and part of that has to do with that rear end. Yeah, so when you're getting premium machine like this is, this is an 84, $77,000 for this one. Uh, you're getting the technology that actually works. I love that. I do too. I only wish that you didn't have to pay more for it. They should put it in everything. Yes, uh, G80 is good in daily conditions maybe, mm -hmm. but on tough going, it's not great. No, it's not. And we've done several videos to demonstrate that. And guys, go back to tfltruck.com for all the latest off-road reviews. And of course, TFL Off-Road as well. See you guys.